What a great shot looking west over downtown Portland from the banks of the Willamette. All right, now, take a break, take a break. Two stops. First free throw is good. Timeout call here. The first for Portland. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And that was most second chance points on the season. The Thunder in fourth. You know what, sometimes I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And even though you know, you think it maybe we don't need to replay in a situation like this, still plenty of time left in this game and Really, it's about getting the call right. Yeah, and the NBA Replay Center in Secaucus is queuing up the footage for the officials on the floor. Um, the new process is making for quicker turnarounds, I think. And they've overturned the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, and Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. And that's it for the first quarter in what's been a very lopsided game. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. Well, Thunder shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. I want to put these guys in the one and two off. Number one, the Thunder. Kevin, I'm absolutely amazed. I mean, they're Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle at their offensive end. The Thunder shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. Drawing the whistle on a lot of times like this. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. The Thunder shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. First one goes. second so he makes a vote do we need to review it i'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time and we are not going to have time just yet officials signaling they are going to review the tape and even though you know you think it maybe we don't need to replay in a situation like this still plenty of time left in this game and really it's about getting the call right yeah and the nba replay center in sakak is queuing up the footage for the officials on the floor good the new process is making for quicker turnarounds, I think. And they've taken a look at it, and they've over 
overturned the call. They've overturned the call. Uh, they're calling the basket good break. Yeah, and that's why we have replay. I mean, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. And, and really, a good job to take the second look at it. Would have been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Thunder out in front, delivering the blowout. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. We've been uh, watching a pretty lopsided game through the first half. That's for sure. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined again by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. From the get-go, it was Oklahoma City who came out strong. They strung together several impressive trips down the floor to open things up with an 8-0 run. At the end of the first quarter, they found themselves way out on top. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Help them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Well, they just about ran their offense to perfection. They pounded the ball inside, and the entry fees were on time and on the money. It was a clinic to watch. The second half is going to be no contest if they keep getting shots eight feet in end. Jack, how do you think Portland played? Well, they were playing like it was Christmas. You know, giving up a lot of turnovers. There's no excuses for the turnover numbers, sloppy ball handling. They look out of control, and the execution was all over the place. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report as it's just about time for the start of the third quarter. Talk block shots. Just have a look at these teams, what they've done the last month. Second, the Thunder. They have a nice pass there to set that bucket up. And that's 10 of their last 12 points that have come off assists. This will be his fourth shot at the line in this one. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. And, and they're, they're making sure on this one, even though it may not matter in the grand scheme, but the replay process is faster than ever. You know, why not? Yeah, the replay center is the call because providing the officials with the necessary footage to make the call. We're seeing what they're seeing with the best possible angle. And they've taken a look at it, and they've overturned the call. They've overturned the call. Uh, they're calling the basket good grade. Yeah, and that's why we have replay. I mean, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. And, and really, a good job to take the second look at it. Would have been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. And the first one And I start to be sensible. And so it's time to get away. It's time to get away. So we get some both. Didn't waste that fast break opportunity. Good aggressive pass to get his teammate to the rim. I love it. The Trailblazers have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Here is Edwards. Pass to Erickson. 
Here's Willis, six to shoot, and he can't stop this drop. Another miss. Lakic. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. 25 points in the game. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. And another fast break from Oklahoma City. Thunder running. The rim rattling two-handed jam. Flush that thing down, young fella. That is a fierce two-handed. Maximum force on that dunk. Here is Edwards. Willis with it. And here's the fast break for the finish. Throws down the breakaway jam. He power surged that one down. Wow. Yeah, good oh, turn to use man. on the game's top dunkers for sure. Folks, that's not a petty, not a manny. That's a facial. <laughs> oh! And now a fast break for the Thunder. And that good one with the jump. Rock hard finish there, guys. And only one hand needed for that one. Yeah, and sometimes that's all you need. And here's Edwards. To the wing right side. To the paint. And the basket by Erickson. Give credit what credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Oklahoma City's gotten in the crew from three-point range. They are four for four since the third quarter ended. Wasted no time on that one. And turnovers have been the issue for him. Yeah, it sure has been the case. I mean, turnovers are like missing breakfast. Eventually, it's going to cost them. Plus, I've always... Oh. How about the quick hands on the steal and the quick feet on the break? Yeah, careless, silly mistake there, though. I mean, talking the ball up and then not being quick enough to get back on defense, that's costly. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that, man. It's, um, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. Good! They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Oh, and here comes good one all alone. Finish off the break. Eight points in a row for them in the transition game, and they're feeling it right now. They're in a nice flow. Yeah, look at the pressure they are putting on the defense. Everybody's feeling lame. This is just fun to watch. And again, Oklahoma City running the court in transition. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Green light doesn't get much green. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. Now we send you to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's standing by in our studio. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Let us take a moment now to recognize our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. In terms of three-point shooting, this could be framed as a historic performance. Hitting that many three-point shots in a single game is borderline impossible. The pressure was off the rest of the guys offensively. They just had to worry about getting him the ball and setting screens. Then it was bombs away. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson.